Hi, so I just wanted to do a, a quick little scope here of um, a little setup that I've got. And basically I had an iPad mini and I do a lot of programming on site. I used to used to using dual monitors at home and in my office. Uh, when I get to site I have trouble because I'm on this, this screen that's only 15 inches and it's really hard to work with. So this is going to be probably pretty quick. Basically this is, this is kind of how I got my setup right now. So I've got my computer. I've got my iPad mini. Uh, this keyboard I don't even use. I'm just using it as a stand right now. But the link between these guys, it's not wireless, it's USB. So this is, uh, I don't think it's the current version of iPad mini, but it's, it's something. And the cool thing is I can drag windows right across and the quality is pretty good. So I can use, uh, I can use this iPad mini to, to show with my Crestron programming for example, I can show kind of what's going on and keep track of like terminal sessions and stuff. So I'm just going to show you how I do this here. I found this app. I don't even know what it's called off the top of my head. I think it is... I really wish I... I really wish I could get this thing to focus. Sorry, I was trying to focus. Flip back. It is called 2Mon USB. You can't see it there. But when you start the app up, I'm just going to actually stop the connection right now. Um, this is the uh, companion app here. Disconnect the device, yes. So, start. got it plugged into my computer. I'm running um, iTunes. I don't know if it has to stay running or just running in the background. But you start this, this up. This is a paid app, by the way. I didn't make it. It's I think it's 11 or 12 bucks, but it's totally worth it. Um, so here it says it's connected, USB connected, successfully connected to this program. So you got to run, it gives the instructions, but basically you have to download the software for the computer. And you run this little, little widget type thing here. It says no devices connected. So I go here and I go connect. Connecting to PC. And it does that. And let me see here. I'll show you. I right click here and go screen resolution. It's over here. It just shows as a an external display. So that's pretty cool and you can move it around just as you would any any regular monitor. And so the other thing that's really cool about this and you can see it it's actually pretty quick. And again, I did not make this app, but I I was searching for something and there was a lot of stuff that was Wi-Fi enabled and I really didn't want to have to deal with setting up wireless networks because I get on wireless networks for my my other stuff too. The other cool thing, and I don't know if it'll have problems, let's see here. It talks back to the computer and reconfigures what the resolution is when you flip it. So that's pretty cool. My little stand here has kind of got some issues. The other thing I want to show you, let's see what what can I show? This is a, a touch panel sample, but since it's an iPad, it can actually work with the touch screen too. <laughs> so I can I can use that to uh, test all my panel layouts and stuff. Or the other thing that's cool is, is yeah, I can show you with this one. Here I've got a PDF and I've dragged it over here. Well, since it's it's a touch screen, right? So I can start manipulating this. I think, uh, I don't know how I get to to grab mode and to move, but I think it's a function of how Acrobat is working. I had another another application working that actually let me move stuff around and zoom in. Um, basically you'd want to do more playing around with it, but there are a couple of people watching. If you have any questions about how I how I got the setup going, it's it's nothing that fancy that I figured out. I think it's just it's just handy to note that it's available and that you can do this. Because now I've turned my iPad that I hadn't really used that much into something that I'm gonna have with me all the time. That's gonna make life easier for me. So so I'm just gonna end it there, and um, this will be recorded and available for replay. Um, if you have any other
questions or if you want to follow me, um, find me I think down at the down at the bottom there, and bring that up, and you can you can follow my feed and see when I go live. I'm going to be probably shooting a lot of little snippets like this, just with different information that I come across when I find it. So thanks for joining.